I'm a sous chef here at Dirt Candy, which is in the Lower East Side of Manhattan. It is a vegetable restaurant. We offer a five course tasting menu, uh, vegan or vegetarian. Dirt Candy has been open for almost 15 years. We are coming up on it this October and it's gone through a lot of changes. It originally started as a very small restaurant on uh, 9th Street in the East Village and then Amanda was lucky enough to move here to a much bigger location. Um, now we have about 45 seats and we've gone through a la carte menus to a la carte and multiple prefix menus and now we just do one set menu every night. I feel like the food we're cooking here is very vegetable focused. We don't do a lot of mock meats, tofu, things like that. And if we ever do, it's usually to help elevate a dish. It's not really uh, the shining star. So that's why we call it vegetable food, vegetable cuisine. And it's a lot of whimsy. Chef loves to do things that nobody's done before or like change your perspective on something. And half the time you go to a table and you just see the guest faces light up and it's it's just cute and fun and uh, so R&D here is fun. We all sit down in a meeting and Amanda tells us these are the vegetables I want to do and sometimes she has an idea of like I want it to go this direction sometimes she's like think about it let me know uh, and then once we get to the stage where we're like okay we have decided we are going to make this you just bring a dish and she loves it, she hates it, she tells you, okay, these are the things we're gonna fix. Or as the menu progresses, somebody could be doing something on their dish and it's like, oh, we're actually gonna go a different direction. I was thinking about doing like a steak plate with Brussels sprouts, but then now we're doing this fried loaded baked potato, so then I can't do a steak plate. So I'm like, okay, let's take the flavors I wanted to do and pivot a little bit. And so now we're doing a Brussels sprout carpaccio instead. So it's just kind of working with the menu and seeing how it's all going and then we figure it out. Amanda does something fun here where all of the sous chefs and our CDC, everybody gets a dish um, on the menu. And the zucchini dish is actually my dish, uh, funny enough. Um, and it originally started off nothing like what it looks like today, which I feel like all R&D really does. But the zucchini dish is kind of a play on a crab rangoon but we're calling it a Rangoon Spring Roll because it's a long <laughs> roll. So one of the dishes on the menu right now is our corn tamale, and I feel like everybody knows what a tamale is, but ours is a bit different because it's actually shaped like corn. It's not steamed inside of um, a husk. We actually put it in a mold, and then it still has the com classic components of some salsa verde, some mole, but a very different presentation than somebody would be used to. I feel like we don't have as many diners come in and um, talk about environmental concerns, at least for us recently, because we just got a Michelin star. So our clientele has very much changed because of that. I'm having more people that used to never come in. Uh, and the thing that's weird to hear in our dining room now is people talking about Michelin and comparing and we hear a lot about EMP and that's all like very different than what we used to before. We have a lot of destination diners come into the restaurant because I think of how it's built. I mean we are vegan and vegetarian but we're not the healthiest on the scale of vegan and vegetarian. Um, so I guess we and Amanda's never really been that lifestyle based. It's just I love this. This is fun. Yeah. It's one of my favorite things when a guest come in, comes in and says, oh my gosh, this is a vegetarian restaurant. I'm going to be so hungry when I leave. And then they leave so full and they're like, I don't need to go get pizza next door at Williamsburg. Or like, I can't believe there was no meat in that. Um, but it's my favorite when people are like, wow, this meal was actually really good. And I'm like, thank you. That actually means you didn't think it was going to be, but we changed your mind a little bit. I feel like for winter vegetables and when we're getting ready to plan for our winter menu, we think about the things that we will be able to source all season. Um, so we're doing Brussels sprouts, we're doing Japanese sweet potatoes, things like that. But the things that I guess would be harder to source, we do a lot of pickles here. We dehydrate a fair amount of things. Chef loves fermentation so much. Um, we're doing a 
it's kind of where you're going to use a lot of koji on the next menu to help with some stuff. But fermentation definitely helps with flavor. Um, I think it was last winter or fall we actually had a broccoli dish on where most of the components was three different types of fermented broccoli on top of this head of broccoli that we cooked. But it really changed how like the broth and the fried broccoli it played together and it was very cool. Advice for working with vegetables. Uh, shape is really fun and it changes how we think about what we're eating. So you could cut a radish three different ways and your mouth and your brain is going to think about it different ways, even though it's the exact same radish. So I think it's really fun whenever like you're trying something new um, to try and cut things in different shapes, different sizes to see like what's the most exciting. I think people should come to Dirt Candy because it's very fun, it's whimsical, it's a very reasonably priced tasting menu in New York City. The wine pairing is fantastic, the food is great, <laughs> and yeah. Amanda has been no tipping for a very long time, but we make sure that in the spread of, um, what's it called, the bill? <laughs> but in the cost of dinner is, um, equates for what the tip for the server would be and people try to leave things sometimes and we're like no really we're happy and they do not believe our server <laughs>